Access the Q&A feature by clicking on the drop-down menu beside the Present button. Select Presenter View, use New Audience Q&A, and View with Speaker Notes. Here, we'll see tabs for Audience Tools and Speaker Notes. I'm going to select Start New. I have two options because I've used the feature in this particular presentation previously. There is an option to only accept questions from people within CISD or from anyone. I've chosen anyone so that I can demo with my personal Gmail account being the quote unquote audience. Notice that the speaker may also toggle Q&A on and off. This is the view that the audience will see during the Q&A presentation. I've split my screen to demonstrate the audience versus presenter tools in view. Audience members access the Q&A board via the unique Google link. I've copied the link and pasted it into my window as an audience member. I am now able to ask a question. See, how to learn behaviors help the Malamute survive. I may choose to ask the question as myself or anonymously. Once I submit my question, the presenter may choose to present my question, thus making it visible to the rest of the audience. This is what the audience will see once the presenter chooses to present the question. The audience may also rate or rank questions by voting on them with a thumbs up or thumbs down sign. Let's look at that process one more time. Again, this feature allows the presenter to talk with the audience rather than talking at them. It also allows the presenter and audience to connect with one another and manage real-time feedback. It gives them that real-time Q&A interaction. This interactive piece may be just the thing to meet the learning styles or needs of, of your more introverted learners. It may also be a great avenue for our zealous audience members to get out their thoughts without verbal interruption to the presentation.